Hello and welcome to the Bind Poses feature in Avastar 2.3. This new tool allows you to bind your characters and your attachments to any pose you like. In other words, you are no longer restricted to force your mesh into the second life T pose before you attach it to an Avastar armature. In this video we use a slightly modified version of the Shaolin character from BlendSwap.com, to give you a short introduction to the new tool. Ok, before we start with the demo, please make sure that you work in the expert settings mode. Now let's add a new Avastar character. Actually we are only interested in the character's eyes. So in the next step we remove all parts, and only keep the eyes available. We can make use of the new Avastar parts manager for this purpose. So, please locate the function. Delete Avastar meshes. The manager then shows up in the Operator Edu panel. There, enable the eyes. And since this model is a male, we also want to set the gender appropriately. Now proceed to the next step. Adjust your rig to the character's shape. Note that I do nothing special here, I only pose the character in pose mode, and I adjust the rig with the Avastar appearance sliders, so that the skeleton matches as good as possible to the mesh. I personally prefer to work in stick mode while I am adjusting the rig. However, you can decide on your own what works best for you. So, when adjusting the eyes, then it makes sense to also display the eyes bones. These bones are part of the extra bone set. Also note that I do not edit the joint positions in this particular demo. For the placement of the eyes, I use a little trick. I first rotate the chest a bit backward. Then, I compensate this modification by rotating with the neck bone forward. And now let's adjust the eye depth. However, it looks like we have to edit the mesh a bit around the eyes. And since the model is symmetric, we also should make sure that the X mirror symmetry is enabled in the Options tab. Maybe the better choice would have been to make the eyeballs smaller, instead of editing the mesh. But what is right and what is wrong is not easy to see. However, there is a way to find out if the eyes are too big. Let's borrow the textures from the female Avastar character. Indeed, it actually looks like the eyeballs could be made a bit smaller here. However, let's keep this as it is for now, and proceed to the body skeleton. We begin with posing only one side, and later mirror copy the pose. And please remind that you only want to rotate the green animation bones, and you use the shape sliders to adjust the bone length.
By default the armature has some rotation limitations. But this does not work well on the character's legs. Here I disable the limits so that I can adjust the knees. You can select a complete chain of connected bones by hovering the mouse over the chain. Then type L on the keyboard. And when you want to mirror a part of your pose from one side to the other, then you find a cut and mirror paste tool in the menu bar of the viewport. So. Once you have adjusted the pose to the meshes, it is time to convert the rig to a bind pose rig. You find the operator in the posing panel, when you have your armature selected in pose mode. And since we have earlier added eyes from Avastar into our rig, we now have to enable the conversion of the Avastar meshes as well. Ok, so from now on the armature's rest pose is changed from T pose to the new rest pose. So what exactly did the set bind bows operator change? Well, when you now move and rotate the bones into a different pose, and later reset the armature back to its rest pose for example by typing Altar, or Alt-G, then your armature no longer steps back to T pose, but it restores the very same pose that we have created a minute ago. So, how do we proceed from here? It is as easy as it can be. You simply use the the Avastar binding panel as you always did, and attach the three mesh parts of the character to the rig. The cool thing here is you can bind your mesh without any predefined weight map. And this is the big advantage that you get, you are no longer restricted to the second life T pose. You can model your mesh in whichever pose you like, and Avastar does the rest for you. You can even bind your mesh with empty weight maps and then do a complete manual weight paint if you like to do so. However, in our case I use bind with weight from bones to get my weights generated from blender. Now you can inspect the weights and tweak them if necessary. But remind all your work is now done with your new defined rest pose. Actually I am happy with the automatic weights from Blender, I just check briefly if the mesh behaves reasonable after binding. Well, unfortunately there is an issue with the head. Let me show you what happens. Open the appearance sliders, and move to the head size slider. When you change the head size, then you see the eyes do not move in the same way as the head mesh. This is actually a weighting issue. Let's go to edit mode and check the weight maps. The first problem here is the skull bone. We do not want the weight map for the skull. Let's delete it. Furthermore we find that the neck bone influences the chin. We do not want this either. Let's first isolate the head by hiding the neck vertices. Then let's remove the neck weights from it.
and finally assign a weight of 1 to all verts of the head. Now unhide the hidden verts again. And now all seems to be well. But hold on. Check carefully what happens as soon as I move the head slider. Take care. Now. Have you seen how the head mesh suddenly distorts? This is because we have edited the mesh and its weights. But the sliders still use the old mesh reference data. So we have to update the reference mesh. You can do this in the skinning panel. Here, just click the double arrow icon, and you are done. Now the head size changes as expected with the slider values and the eyes no longer pop out of the head. Of course you always can improve the weight maps even further to your likes. But for now let's live with what we have. And believe me or not, but we are already done with our work. Especially there is no need to bend the character back into T-Pose. Avastar can do all that is needed automatically in the background. There is only one tiny little detail that is missing. Before you export your mesh, please open the appearance sliders panel, and double check that you have enabled the option named, use by and pose. Now you only need to export your character and attachments as usual. Then import your items to second life without joint positions, and you are done. Have a nice day, and see you in the next video.